Hello lovely butterflies, it's France. Welcome to this journal on Monday, week 139. As per usual, I'm going to work in my trusted Journal on Monday art channel and I have to be careful because this time I'm working by the end of the binding. I'm starting with modeling paste over my rock formation stencil, the large version of it, and I'm simply scraping the modeling paste on and then I'm giving it some texture using a sponge. I left it to air dry to avoid altering the texture that I created. And now I'm prepping my three colors in the chalky finish uh, acrylic paints from DecoArt. I'm simply applying my three colors in patches all over the spread. And once I have a first layer of color everywhere, I will start blending. Today's video is 19 minutes long. If you would like more extended versions of these kind of videos or more insight in products or techniques or thoughts behind uh, this kind of art journaling, I can only invite you to join me on my Patreon page. We have, for example, a weekly hangout where we discuss certain techniques. Uh, there is also the monthly live journal with me. And of course, we talk about all kinds of art journaling and mixed media related stuff. You can find the link underneath um, the video in the description. Now that I have a first layer of color everywhere, I'm going to start to pull the colors to one another and I'm starting with the pink. So I have a baby wipe in my hand to keep my paintbrush clean so that I only pull the color that I really want to pull and so that I don't create one big color contamination all over. Blending to me is something that is really relaxing, so I'm really putting the time into it to have something that is really soft, no hard lines between the colors. I'm really taking my time and enjoying the process here.
To seal this first layer, because I really like it, I don't want anything to happen to it, I'm going in with Ultra Matte Varnish from Deco Art Media and I'm applying a thin layer everywhere. This will seal this first layer. The next layer might surprise you, might even scare you, because I'm going in with antiquing cream. And though the camera is picking it up as a real green color, it's an actual patina, turquoise greenish color. So I'm covering everything up and then I'm heat setting it with my heat gun. Now this is the interesting thing about antiquing cream is that it remains water reactive even when it's heat set. That's why you have to heat set it first. Because if you go in without drying it first, well you will just wipe everything away. While here I have to work my baby wipe on the paper to lift the patina again. I'm going back in with my rock formation stencil, this time the small version of it, and this time using Distress Ink. In some areas the Distress Ink is too vibrant to my liking, so I'm lifting some of the ink up again using a baby wipe. And then adding some distress ink on the edges as well. I took out one of the stamps from my London New York stamp set and using archival ink I'm just going to stamp here and there on the page. And I also want to add some more splatters, reminding the pink color that I have underneath, as well as the yellowish white that I also have underneath. Thank you. 
I took out the elements that I want to use for my focal point. So I have this baby wipe that I used to clean uh, the patina with. I took out this little girl, which is from Lisa's Altered Art Etsy shop. And then obviously some cambric. This one has been colorized with Quin Gold acrylic paint. And the other one is plain white. I want to run the whole thing through my sewing machine, but if I do it just like this, um, I will have a problem maintaining the rectangle that I need to glue the little girl on. So I'm using a piece of cardstock to glue everything together and to keep everything in place while running it through my sewing machine. I'm pulling the threads to the front so that I can put a little knot into them and make sure that everything stays in place. And then I can start assembling my elements. I want my little girl to have something to stand on, so I prepped this mini tiny piece of black washi tape so that she has ground under her feet. I picked out this not negotiable stamp from my Perfect Word stamp set, and now I'm prepping my wording to be added to my spread. And now that everything is ready, I can glue everything in place. I'm just using decoupage glue because these are all very light elements and it doesn't need any heavy glue. As at this point, it's all too bright and shiny to my liking, though it's matte. <laughs> I want to add some darker accents to it. So I'm going in with a watercolor paintbrush and the chalky finish um, carbon black that I diluted with water.
and I still want to accentuate the black corners even more. So I'm using a Sennelier oil pastel just to add a bit more black shading on the corners. And now, of course, I need some black splatters as well. So I'm covering up my little girl and I'm just using that same black chalky finish again to add some splatters. That's it for today's spread. I hope you liked today's video. If so, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out my Patreon page if you would like even more. And I'll see you here back next time. Ta-da!